Okay, today I want to show you how to clean up audio where, um, where Final Cut 10 is not able to do it internally. We're going to use a program called Audacity and I can show you the difference that that makes. So I've got a uh, recording here, video, and uh, in fact let me just drop it down here. There we go. And this video has a fairly uh, quiet soundtrack and it's actually me being recorded. The problem is I forgot to select which microphone to use and it used the microphone built into the uh, display. So the sound quality is pretty bad. There's a lot of background noise. Uh, there's just a number of things wrong with this. So let me select this. Go to the audio. Okay, there we go. It's already set up as mono. Um, and let me switch over into the audio enhancements. So if I turn both of these off, I just put it back to the way the audio was initially. Uh, let me play back a little bit. Uh, it's also known as a Paleolithic diet, Stone Age diet, or a modified sound. Okay, hopefully you can hear all the background noise involved in that. So to try and get rid of it inside uh, uh, Final Cut, we're we'll going here, do a hum removal to get rid of the 60 hertz. Let's listen to that now. So what's a caveman diet? There's still uh, an awful lot of noise. So if we turn on background noise removal, 50% default, let's see what that sounds like. Well, there's no noise, but there's also virtually no sound. It is super, super quiet. So to fix that, try and boost some loudness. Let's listen to what that sounds like. Uh, it's also known as a Paleolithic diet. Okay, and the noise is back. So really we can play around with background noise removal and loudness to try and get both the right volume and noise removal. It doesn't work. That's the bottom line. It, it, for things that have just a slight bit of background noise, it actually works quite well. I found that it gets rid of running water noise actually quite well. But for something like this, which is essentially a poor quality microphone that's picking all kinds of things up, it just is not uh, able to it's get also rid of it. Known as a Paleolithic diet, Stone Age diet, or a modified. Okay, so what I'm going to end up doing is just well, I'm going to undo what I just did and I'm going to separate out the uh, audio track. Uh, where am I here? There we go, detach audio. Still getting used to this program. All right. And then what I'm going to do is actually load up the um, that same movie file that I have over here. Uh, I'm going to load that into Audacity. So I'm going to get Audacity up in here. There we go. Shrink that window down a little bit. There's the Paleo Diet movie. Put that in there. Okay. So now let me expand Audacity out. Let's listen to that in Audacity. Caveman diets, at least the way that I'm looking to do it. And you What's can hear that diet? it's both uh, it's also known as quiet, diet, although not as quiet as uh, after diet. trying being corrected inside Final Cut, but it, it's definitely noisy. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. Here it looks like a good chunk right here. Uh, what we're looking for are areas with a consistent quiet, so something that is between words, essentially a gap in speech. And obviously I didn't have a whole lot of gaps in speech, but I think there's one that's pretty good right here. It looks like it's about the same consistency. Let me select that. And then uh, go to Final Cut. I'm going to do a um, uh, noise removal operation. And then the first step after selecting that quiet area is to get noise profile. Then the second step is select everything run that same noise removal effect again, leave the defaults as they are, I usually do, and then hit OK. Now that will remove the noise. You can see visually what it did. Let's play that back. At least the way that I'm looking to do it. 
So, what's a caveman diet? Uh, it's also known as a... No background noise whatsoever. Now, it's still a little quiet, and I'd rather do the uh, amplitude in here than trust Final Cut with it. So, I'm going to go to normalize. I'll, I'll Probably 5 dB should be good. And let's put it on 4 dB just to bump it just a little bit more. Hit OK. There we go. Now that bumped it up a little bit. Caveman diet, at least the way that I'm looking to do it. So what's a caveman diet? Uh, okay. So now that we've got the audio down, I'm going to export it. And uh, let's, uh, let's see. I'll just put it right here. And we'll call it audio. Now you can save it as an MP3 file. You can save it as a AC3 file. Uh, whatever, whatever type of file you'd like to save it in. Uh, I don't think it matters a whole lot for this particular option. So what I'll do is 256 average. That's way overkill for this, frankly. But I'll just go ahead and leave it on that. And then go ahead and save it. Uh, hit OK. Do the export. OK, I can't move the window until that's done exporting. OK, get rid of the window. I actually have two monitors here, so I moved it off to the other screen. <laughs> now we're going to go ahead and import that. And there's the audio file that we just created. There it is as the audio. So we'll drag that down here. <laughs> and let me move it up so it's aligned accurately. Actually, you know, there's another way to do this much better. I'm gonna get rid of the video. Get rid of the audio, get rid of the other audio, get rid of this, get rid of everything. I'm going to select both of these at the same time. And uh, I'm going to um, do a synchronized clip. Now there's my synchronized clip, which should contain both of those. Drag it down here. All right, let's take a look at that clip. There it is. Now for this, I can make sure that the audio uh, is actually off. So we'll just uncheck that. Perfect. And then this audio uh, detected some problems. I wonder what that's all about. Okay, background noise. Well, there shouldn't be any background noise in there. So I, I want to make sure everything's turned off. So let me start it up here. At least the way that I'm looking to do it. There you go. So, what's a caveman diet? Uh, it's also known as a Paleolithic diet, Stone Age diet, or a mine. Much better. So, we got rid of the noise. We've got the volume up to a more reasonable level. And the, uh, the audio now uh, can get recombined in Final Cut with the video to provide the, the final version of this. So, lesson learned for me is make sure you check which input's being recorded so uh, I don't end up using the microphone on the display. And, um, but even if I do, um, using uh, Audacity, uh, it's actually fairly easy to get rid of the background noise. And I think it works a lot better than the built in audio functions to do the same thing within Final Cut. Thanks for watching.